Hey, hey, hey! Tony Bada Bing, Horse Racing Nation. How you doing? Uh, no, I'm not in a witness protection program. Although it might look it, if we're unshaven and in this kind of spotty hotel room. But I am at an undisclosed location. Do what? Talk about Pegasus International Invitational Thingamajiggy. Big race on Saturday at Gulfstream Park. We're going to do two pick fours in this video. I'm going to run through one and give you another one at the end. So let's jump right to it. Race number nine, grade three, Hurricane Birdie, seven furlongs, Phillies and Mares, four-year-olds and up. Look at number seven, Curlin's approval. Got to include it just on class alone. But number one, Marley's Freedom exits the grade one La Brea, finishing fourth. This is a weaker field. Mike Smith aboard, 10 to one, I'm in. And I'm going to include both number eight, Spice Lady, and number four, Shah Ran. Not sure who's going to take the lead and who's going to take back. But I'll take the one that takes the lead. All right, let's go right to race number 10. Gulfstream Park Turf Sprint, $175,000. Five furlongs on the duh turf. Look at number eight, Payne Price. Fastest horse in here. I think he's just second most likely winner on Saturday behind Gunrunner. Look at So he's on. But I am going to include two others. Number 11, Blind Ambition is tactical. Going to have to work a trip from that 11 post with only five furlongs to do it. And number five, Sir Navigator, who has closed in his last four attempts at five furlongs with two wins and two shows. He's 15 to one. Bada bing, let's put him in. Let's go to race number 11, South Beach Stakes. Phillies and Man's four rolls and up seven and a half furlongs on the turf. That weird configuration at Gulfstream start very close to the turn. I'm going to look to the inside here and I'm going to go odds aplenty. Number five, Team of Teams is worth checking out. Hall of Fame rider Johnny V. This could be her just right distance. You know, she's either going to jump to lead or stalk Betty G right inside of her. I'm also going to include Betty G, who likes the front, doesn't always finish that way. But again, this could be a perfect distance for her as well. And let's include number one, Wested. Look, at if she's right, she's coming late. Hold your breath and hope. <gasps> I think she might get there. Now, for the feature event, number 12, race number 12, the Pegasus, mile and eighth. Look, it all comes down to, do you think Gunrunner is the best horse in the States, the land, the world, the whatever? I think he is. The post and the pace do concern me a little bit. Could he get caught four wide for much of this race? Yes, he could overcome it because he's just so great, but maybe not. So he's on the ticket, but I have to believe that Bob Baffert, one of his two runners, is going to fire. I really believe he's going to go after Gunrunner with number five collected first, soften him up for number two, West Coast to finish up, possibly. And look at I love number four, Sharp Azteca. I just do. He's one in a mile, 16th. What's another 16th of a mile? Similar track there at Monmouth, speed favoring. He's on the ticket. Let's go through that ticket I just went through. One, four, seven, eight, with five, eight, eleven, with one, two, five, with two, four, ten. Listen, you want a single gun runner? Let's do it and spread in the other races. Again, one, four, seven, eight, with one, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, with one, five, eight, nine, ten, with ten. Bada bang. Good luck with all your wages on Saturday.